Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a clutch clamp using Kitsia V5 software. So this is the third part of the tutorial and this tutorial is uh, requested by one of my subscribers and uh, what you can see here is the end result of the design and we are working on the third part of, the, of this uh, tutorial series and let's see how to go ahead with the design so we have got this portion here and we need to create this particular hollow portion so for doing that you can select this particular plane come into the sketch or else uh, you can select this face and come into the sketch it's both the same uh, if you select this plane and come into the sketch and once you give the pocket you have to give up to next on both the sides also you can select this phase and uh, do whatever drawing you want to do and just give up to next on uh, the first part of the feature so give sketch and now do this particular portion here so you have uh, a dedicated uh, you know uh, drawing here which actually resembles uh, what we need so I'm going to use that right we got that here now go ahead and give dimension for it delete this cause uh, we got this height 1 and 2 and that is for you and this distance here is 90 alright and uh, this one is 53 okay it's completely constrained because it's completely green so it's good to go just come out of the sketch now click on the curve pocket up to next and we got that hole too so if you come into the side view if you come into the side view maybe the side you can actually see wherever you can see over there right so this portion here is the one which is hollow and this portion here so this portion from here to here so <coughs> that was the third part of the uh, tutorial for creating the clutch clamp and I hope uh, <coughs> you followed all the steps in this tutorial and uh, if you have any doubts clarifications you can uh, comment on my video and I'll be getting back to you and feel free to write to me at ketia.pro.user c-a-t-i-a.pro.user at gmail.com if you've got any uh, doubts on the projects or if you want me to handle any projects and that's all for this particular part of the tutorial keep watching and thank you guys